What's up guys, Penguin Overlord here, and welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. In today's video, I'm going to share my guide on how to complete Brother vs. Brother, the mission where you go after Cole D. Walker. Fair warning, there will be spoilers for the end of the game in this video, although to be honest, after what Walker did to Weaver, there was only one way the story was going to end. Walker will be located in the Howard Airfield base in Sinking Country, and you can actually get this mission and complete it very early in the game. However, if you're playing the game with gear score enabled, the base will have a minimum gear score of 150, so I recommend waiting until the end of Breakpoint to complete this mission. Plus, in my personal opinion, it feels underwhelming to kill Walker so early in Breakpoint. So you're going to want to infiltrate the base and kill the enemies as stealthily as possible. This part of the mission isn't very hard, and you could go loud if you want to, but you'll conserve more ammo if you eliminate enemies stealthily. Also, there is a behemoth drone in this base, and if you go loud, the behemoth will start firing rockets where you last shot an unsuppressed gun. After killing everyone in your way, you will need to destroy the behemoth drone in order to gain access to the building where Walker is hiding in. You will not be able to enter it while it is still alive. I have a guide on how to kill behemoth drones if you need help doing so, and a link will be in the description of this video. However, this behemoth drone seems to have less health than the rest of the behemoths in this game, so if you have an LMG you should be able to kill it quickly. After you kill the behemoth you'll be able to enter the building and fight Walker. This will not be an easy fight if you are playing solo. Walker is protected by 4 drones that will heal him automatically if he takes damage, and he is armed with his revolver. This is a powerful weapon. On advanced difficulty, it will one-shot all classes except Assault, assuming you have full health, and on extreme difficulty, it will instantly kill you no matter what class you use. To make matters worse, several wolves will spawn from time to time and attempt to kill you. The goal in this fight is to destroy all four of Walker's drones, prevent the wolves from doing damage to you, and prevent Walker from vibe-checking you. The easiest way to accomplish this is to immediately go to your left when you spawn into the arena and run up the stairs. This will take you to a small area where you can hide in, and as there is only one way to get up there, you can gun down anyone who comes to you. However, you do need to be careful because sometimes wolves will spawn in behind you, so you'll need to be alert and ready to eliminate them. The other advantage this strategy offers is that Walker will be completely unable to get up to you, since there isn't enough room for his drones in that area. He will move close to the area though, and as his drones move they will be exposed one at a time. You'll be able to destroy them easily, and once all four drones are destroyed, you'll be able to shoot Walker in the head and end him before he can get a shot off at you. Now in terms of full disclosure, I didn't come up with this method. I first heard about it from someone else, and truthfully, I'm probably the last person to learn about this strategy. However, I thought it was worth making a video about it because it turns a very frustrating mission into a very doable mission, even on extreme difficulty. For this mission, I recommend using the Assault class. Even though Walker will be able to one-shot Assault on extreme difficulty, the True Grid ability can help you destroy the drones more quickly and lower the amount of damage you take from the wolves. None of the other classes bring anything significant to the table when it comes to playing this mission. As far as loadouts go, that's going to depend on whether you're playing the gear score version of the game or immersive mode. Since you cannot change out weapons in the field in immersive mode beyond what you find on dead enemies, I recommend bring, bringing a suppressed 5.56 assault rifle with a 50 round magazine and a 7.62 LMG with the extended mag. Those weapons will offer enough firepower and ammunition to help you complete the mission. If you're playing the, in the gear score version of Breakpoint, I recommend starting off with a suppressed SMG and sniper rifle when you're infiltrating the base and then switching to the stoner LMG and a 7.62 LMG of your choice. Clearing the base with the suppressed SMG and sniper rifle will allow you to reserve 5.56 and 7.62 ammo for the walker fight. There are multiple perks which are useful for this mission, and I'll leave it up to you which ones you want to use. Cold Blooded is useful if you are playing with full health regeneration on, but if you're on the partial or no health regeneration setting in immersive mode, it isn't as useful. Pack Mule is useful because you'll want as much ammo as possible, 
And Sixth Sense is useful because it helps spot wolves early while you're in your hiding spot. Feel No Pain is a good choice as it will reduce the chance for injury and prevent critical injuries entirely, which can be a fight ender in this mission. Finally, Gunslinger is another good choice because it helps steady the LMG's recoil under sustained fire. So that concludes my guide on how to complete Brother vs Brother and Kill Walker. I hope this video helped you out. Like this video if it did, and subscribe if you would like to see more Ghost Recon Breakpoint mission guides from me. I'm Penguin Overlord. And I will catch you all next time. Take care, guys.